6.20 in the morning and we're at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> I haven't opened the park yet. We're all waiting. Oh, and I'm not in focus. There we go. Oh, can't wait to see how this goes. We tried to order a minivan, but there weren't any out this morning, so we just did regular Lyft, which is actually cheaper and faster than waiting for a minivan anyway, so maybe try that out if you're here. But... Distance attraction. Guests hoping to confront the first order in Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance, should join the virtual queue through the My Disney Experience app or with the assistance of the guest experience team located throughout the park. Please note, the virtual queue will be used for the Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance attraction only and does not apply to other shows and attractions at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Thank you. And enjoy your time here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Let me in! Let me in! It's weird because I've seen so many videos of this. Now to finally be here, it's just like, what? I also don't know where anything is, so... seeing so many videos of it, I'm like, it feels like I've been here. It's crazy that I'm at Disney World before I've been to Disneyland. actually look kind of eerie. Yeah. yeah, well, he's having his moment. Let him run. Hey, are we taking pictures now? Are you guys so this is like the now? resistance outpost, right? Are we taking now? I was just taking a few of them. Okay. okay. I don't even see him anymore. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Bright suns! <laughs> he's gonna geek out. Just let him have his day. This is Jordan's moment. Did it rain? Yeah. Weather's different here. Listen, I know the Disney community has seen like a thousand videos of this place so far, but just like, holy cow. This is amazing. Is this Ronchi Roaster? I don't know where anything is. Oh, we lost him. We lost him. I think this is Olga's. Or Did you take a picture of that? to get pictures. Dang, there ain't no one out here. This is crazy, right? Yeah. No, you're good. Yeah, of course. Wow. This is insane. With the lights on it and everything, the sun. Damn. It does say 15 minutes, it's pretty insane. Bright Suns, welcome. Bright Suns. Don't 
It's like Star Tours, but it's not Star Tours. <laughs> Expecting it to respond that much when you pilot it. Yeah. Like I, it was moving left and right every single time I moved it. It was insane. Yeah, that was the coolest part. So to catch everyone up to speed, this has been a crazy morning. We got here on 6:20 a.m. You saw how many people were in front of us in line. They opened the park. I want to say like around 6:45. Took forever to get through. It was the most claustrophobic experience of my life. But it was some stormtroopers. <laughs> but we checked in online. We're group number 54, which has an estimate of afternoon. And we have fast passes here today, so we're just going to stick it out and stay all day. We walked in. We basically came straight to Galaxy's Edge. It was nice and empty. We got tons of pictures. We only waited like 10, 15 minutes for Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it was basically like we walked through the queue and got to the pre show. It was awesome. Oh, there's more stuff over here. Oh, that's the droid depot. They're probably just really good voice actors. I don't know. I think there's more stuff down here if we want to see it. Because that's the droid depot. Um, so now we're going to get to ride Rise of the Distance hopefully this afternoon. And now we're just exploring Galaxy's Edge. The whole park is open. I thought they were only going to open Galaxy's Edge. Really, no. Every ride has been up and running since they let us in at 645. So wait times are really low. They literally just secretly open the park at 6 a.m. It's posted as a 9 a.m. opening, but it's all open now. Um, so we're 
gonna try and do some Toy Story rides before the park opens. We just had Ronto Roaster breakfast, which was really good. So we're trying to see the rest of it before we go do some other stuff. And I think now we're entering like the first order area of the park. The Droid Depot is just back there. We just passed it. I don't know you guys have seen like a million videos of this, but I just... Oh yeah, this is first order for sure. Chewy walked by us not that long ago, which is pretty sick. Oh, blue milk and green milk, if Jordan wants that. Nothing like blue milk in the morning. This is sick. Just changed where the entrance was. Toy Story Mania time! Yay! My hands are frozen, so we'll see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> Star Tours Fast Pass, we did Muppet Vision 3D. We just got some buffalo chicken mac and cheese that was wow, chef's kiss. And now we're about to go use our rock and roller coaster fast pass once I finish this beer. Which is lifting my spirits considerably because I am struggling. But we are going to get on rock and roller coaster. And then probably sit down for like a full official lunch. I'm counting that mac and cheese as a snack. <laughs> to get me through from breakfast. And um, it sounds like Rise of Resistance broke down for a little bit. They were only calling two boarding times at a time. But there is a guarantee that if you have a boarding pass, you're gonna get on today. And if you don't, you'll get a fast pass to come back tomorrow. So I'm just gonna hang tight and be patient. I don't know what the deal is. They might, they might be back up and running because they added a new number to the boarding call. So we will see. I needed that beer. That sounds bad to say, but 11 a.m. feels like five o'clock when you've been up yeah. since 5 a.m. in the morning. Waking up felt like doing a bench press. <laughs> like just trying to open your eyes up. 
<laughs> well, considering how hard it's been for me to sleep the last couple nights, I was tossing and turning, and then last night was the first night I was dead asleep. My alarm went off, and I literally was just like, are you fucking kidding me? I feel like I was waking up from like 10 feet below water. Whew. Owie. <laughs> So now that I've had some buffalo chicken mac and cheese, complete with blue cheese and beer, yeah. let's go get on a flippy twisty roller coaster. Twisty. We're gonna be spinning around. Spinning around, sitting. Around. It's a bit before 2 p.m. What time is it? No, it's like 1.30? It's, it's 1.55. Whoa, 1.55. I was right the first time. And we're in the queue. It's pretty. It's I happening. Think. It is really pretty. I'm nervous. I'm We've nervous been killing too. time with beer and food sitting at a table for like the last hour, but... With smugglers run, at least they knew what to expect. This, yeah. I have no idea. Nope, and I'm... I, I know the bare minimum. I've seen like two clips, but... I have stoked. Even seen clips. I've tried to avoid spoilers. I've only seen like a few small things, but oh, I'm nervous. Oh, that smells good. Hello, friends. It's been a hot second. Last time I was vlogging, it was us going into the Rise of the Resistance queue, and that was hours ago because we had ourselves a day. I will get to a full-on reaction to Rise of the Resistance in a minute. But to bring you up to speed for where we are right now, we are in Polynesia. We originally had this huge plan to do like a monorail crawl where we were going to hit like the Grand Floridian and then the Contemporary and then the Polynesian and we were going to hit the lounges at all and do like a mini almost like bar crawl and get little bites to eat at every lounge. And then getting up at 5 a.m. this morning totally derailed that because we crashed after the Rise of the Resistance. We went home and I had the nap to end all naps. We were out for like 45 minutes. How long did we sleep? At least an hour. I think it was like, I don't even know. I No, none of us were on this planet. And we needed it. Our feet were killing us. We were dead tired. We passed the hell out. So then we took a minivan here to the Polynesian because this was like Megan's must do. Her birthday's tomorrow, so we gotta kick things off right. So. Gotta have that bread pudding. Gotta have that bread pudding for her birthday. So we're like, at the very least, we'll go to the Polynesian. It's like, what time is it? I don't even know. Is it 6.30? It's almost 7 now. It's almost 7. Where am I? I don't know. Happily ever after pair of fireworks are at 9.30. None of us have seen them, so that's the main goal. So make sure we make it there. But we're going to have lounge and drinks here at Tambu Lounge outside of Ohana because you can order basically off the full Ohana menu from the lounge. They don't advertise it. It's not on the menu, but you can do it. So we're here doing that now. We're very excited. We just put in a bunch of noodles, a bunch of spring rolls, some wings, and some drinks. And we're coming back to life, and it feels great. I'm not back to life yet. George is trying his best. We're all just doing our best. I feel a lot better than I did in line for Rise of the Resistance. I wasn't doing too hot. Yeah. I kind of wake up still a little bit. Yeah, the, Megan and I got up before the boys so that we could freshen our faces. So we slept like full makeup. I passed out. I've been doing this thing where I've been like icing my feet when I get back to the room, then like putting lotion on them and try to massage them. And then I've been, I napped, or I slept last night and napped tonight with my feet literally elevated on two pillows. So my feet have been so swollen. So Megan and I got up and freshened up a little bit. So now we're here. But. Rise of the Resistance. Was the peace de resistance? <laughs> That's the best way to put it. It was. I don't see it this way. It was. Like. Holy shit. I don't. I just. I know I didn't want to film because there's like a million videos of it already on YouTube and it's only been open for three days. So by the time this video goes live, you can just do a little search and see what we wrote today. But it was great. And I have to say the virtual queue system worked pretty much flawlessly. Yesterday, on the second day of opening, it sounded like there was a lot of problems with it shutting down. They needed to evacuate people. They needed to hand out paper fast passes. But for us, we had our other fast passes already lined up for Rise Resistance. Oh, here's my new best friend, Audrey. Thank you. 
queue. But for us, the queue worked perfectly. I mean, we had to get there really early and they're not advertising how early it's opening. So that stinks if you don't know about it. Yeah. It does seem different every day. Yesterday there were reports of them opening and letting people in at 6. We got let in at 6.40. So it does seem like it varies a little bit. I guess it just depends on when the park's open. And there was one hour today that the ride was supposedly down. But otherwise, like, we saw the boarding times get called pretty consistently all day. They told us we would ride in the afternoon, and we got called at what, like 2.30? I think about 2. Yeah. 1.55. It was right before 2. That's like, that's afternoon. That's when we got called. So, I think maybe it took like a couple days to get there, and like obviously there's going to be kinks. The ride just opened, but the virtual queue system worked great for us. We already had fast passes today for studios. We got done everything we wanted to get done in the studios. The only thing we really didn't do today was um, Slinky Dog, but we have a fast pass to ride it on Monday. And then the ride itself is just... I don't even know how to describe it. Like, you've probably seen the videos at this point. It is just so immersive. It is the closest you can get to being, like, picked up and just dropped in the middle of a movie. And, like, yeah, it's cool that it's Star Wars, but just, like, any movie. Like, you just feel like you are on, like, a movie set. Like, you're living the real thing. Like, the ride itself is fun, but I think, to me, the most impressive thing were the sets and the atmosphere. Like sets are so detailed the ceilings are so high like the hallways are endless it just seems the most genuine realistic looking atmosphere ever and I'm still trying to figure out how some of the things work the crazy thing about it though is that if you watch the other people that had different colors yeah they had like different experiences. They went different places yeah. and didn't see them. Yeah. So it's like, how different is it every time you ride? Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know. I just like, you can talk about it all day, but there's like, no way to, there's like, no way to put it into words. Yeah, it's just, it's just real, it's next level. I don't. It was, for me, it was good. It was different because that was like everybody's first time. Yeah. Like nobody knew what was going to happen next. Nobody knew it was fun experiencing yeah. an attraction that new with so many people yes. where it was new for them as well. Yeah. The cast member performances were incredible. The First Order cast members were genuinely, I was scared. Yeah. The one point where they're lining you up to go into your holding cell to be interrogated, I was like, like I knew it wasn't real, but like I was like on it, like I was like on it. Like I was like. They messed with you too though, because when they lined us up, they had us face that direction, but then he told me, he's like, you're facing the wrong way. Your cell is this way. Sends us into the interrogation room. Yeah. It's just, it was like, really took cool. The picture, they're like, you don't need those files. Yeah, they were like, your documentation's of no use. And then, because I didn't look up spoilers, which I'm so glad I did, when the wall opened up in that interrogation room and the first, or the rebellion was there, like, come on, we gotta go. It was so exciting. It was, it was just like, I loved not knowing what was happening, what was gonna happen next, because that's something that doesn't happen very often when you're like a Disney Parks fan. Like, you tend to know what's around every corner and, you know, it's fun, but it's... The lights that was next level. Feeling. Megan and I might be on Splash Mountain without the boys while it's 64 degrees outside. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but it might be. It might be. <laughs> Shoot him down, baby lost his man in the house. How do you do?
birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. There's so much emotion in this room right now. Dear Mike. Wisconsin. Happy birthday. Was that a fucking jab? <laughs> Hi, welcome to Chili's. Look, I just took this portrait. To wear this to Animal Kingdom in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that sucked. <laughs> it's my birthday. That's oh my god, Sweetie, how old are you? I'm almost 30! <laughs> we spent good money on that. <laughs> <laughs>